This is modern C++ programming with test-driven development by Jeff Langer. And let me tell you that this one is the best practical book about TDD that you'll find out there. And don't get scared by having your C++, because I liked it so much that I want to share with you all the highlights and lessons that I took from this book. Let me tell you that this book was so influential to me that it inspired my brand new course that you can find at Thome Train. And using the words by Jeff Langer, in this course, you will learn how to code better and sleep better. So if you want to learn test-driven development, and if you buy it now, you have the chance to be one of the first to unearth and get 20% discount using the code GDDD. And you can find all of that information right here in the description. So take this amazing opportunity to master test-driven development, but also to learn some of the lessons that you can find in this book. A book that was first published in 2013 by Jeff Langer. And let me tell you that Jeff has not only this book, but he also published another four books, but also he contributed to other books like the famous Clean Code book. In my opinion, this book is poorly titled. The fact that we have here C++ will throw away the interest of many possible buyers. But the reality is that you can read 90% of this book without being concerned about C++. Okay, you might need to skip one, two or three sections because they are really specific for someone that is writing code with C++. And likely they are specific to someone writing code with C++ in 2013. However, 90% of this book is about test-driven development. The author took the decision of doing it with C++, but everything that you see there, it's transferable to C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, whatever. So if you grab this book, likely the first thing that you will see and you will not be impressed by that if you don't write C++ is that you will skip the first chapter of the book because that chapter is heavily focused on tooling for C++. However, in the next chapter, the author starts implementing things using TDD. It's interesting that Jeff decided to do things in the other way around from the convention. Usually we see everyone explaining the foundations and then moving to the practice. And Jeff swapped those things around. And that was a smart move. And in chapter two, you can find a lot of small nuggets of wisdom. For example, I really like this one where he says that DDD is not a hard science. Instead, think of it as a craftsperson tool for incrementally growing a code base. Once we leave chapter 2, we'll go into one that is mainly focused on the foundations. So once you see the flow in practice, then Jeff takes you to distill that flow. And he talks about things like the DDD cycle or what it is a unit test, how to succeed using test-driven development as well. And there you can find this sentence that I really like where he says that DDD isn't a silver bullet, but is a great way to help eliminate them logic mistakes we we'll all make. More importantly, it's a beautiful way to shape your system design well. But the beauty of this book isn't in the fundamentals. It's in the practical tips that you will find. The book goes through things like how to organize your tests using classes, using test names, how to use the act, range, assert structure, how to write expressive assertions, or for example, how to use test doubles when working with unstable dependencies. As you know, test-driven development is heavily focused on the design part, on the code quality part. As Jeff says, the primary reason to practice TDD is to support the ability to add or change features at a sustainable, stable maintenance cost. So the book digs into the simple design practices, digs into code quality, into test quality and how to achieve that. And one of my favorite chapters in this book is this one, the legacy challenges. And why do I really like this chapter? Because unfortunately, it's easy to find code that is not ready for testing. That's a reality. And we need to deal with that in our day to day. And to someone that is now learning test-driven development, it might be demotivating to face now code that can't be tested. 
So everything that you have learned about test-driven development might not be easy to apply. And here you will find a lot of techniques to address those scenarios. As an example, I have learned through this book a method that is the Mikado method, that is a method to drive large-scale changes safely. There's a lot of nuances about driving changes in a legacy system. As Jeff says, we should think about programming like writing. Even good writers continually rework their sentences and paragraphs to improve understanding. So I was happy when I found this chapter in the book. But the book is not only about code. There's other topics that are actionable that you can take from this book. As an example, the book goes through how to sell test-driven development, how to convince your team that is a good idea, how to convince your managers. It talks about how to practice TDD using katas. It talks about how to look at coverage, test coverage in your tests as well. As he says, the real value in knowing the coverage lies in the fact that you can know which lines of code hunt covered so you can find where you need to have tests. And what can you expect from the way that the book is written? The book has a lot of examples. They are written with C++, that is a fact. However, I find it accessible. Even if you don't have experience with C++, like it's my case, you can read it. I have to confess that I find the main example that is driving the book a bit hard to grasp. It's too complex in my opinion. However, in some pieces of code, if you read it twice, you will understand what the code is doing. And often what the code is doing is just a detail. You are focused on learning the process, on learning the cycles, on knowing what problems we should look at. And I really like the fact that in the appendix, you can find the Roman numeral converter, a kata, that has the implementation there. Not only the implementation, but the author describes the process to achieve that implementation. That is a good practical example on how to practice TDD. Even though it's an extensive book written with a language that you might not master, it's easy to read. And even if you skip some chapters regarding C++, you don't lose a lot, okay? The book is well written and it's easy to follow the story from beginning to the end. So now you might be asking, do I recommend this book to you? For sure, especially if you have been trying to apply test-driven development for a long time. Likely you have tried to go from theory to the practice and you don't have a good example on how to do that. So this is a good book for that. Not only that, but if you have some experience practicing TDD, this book might be a good way to learn different techniques to improve the way that you do it. I wouldn't say that this is the perfect book if you are just getting into TDD. However, once you have a bit of practice, now that you know the concepts, I think it's a good option. So I would say that this book right here is an excellent follow-up to another book that I recommend you to read first. That is this book right here.